Hey, welcome. This is Here's Your Good Health. My name is Linda Prezioso. I'm a nurse practitioner at Family Medical Center. This is a um, community-sponsored program uh, funded by WHIG-TV. They are passionate about everything in our, our community. And um, you'll anything you want to know that's going on around in our community, turn on WHIG TV, and they will be talking about something around in and around Rocky Mount. So here's your good health as part of that community organization. We we are passionate about good health. I should say I'm passionate about good health. I think the people here agree with me at least to some some point. I'm a little, you know, I can get to be a little. I can get on my soapbox and I can get on a tangent and I don't know that everybody is as crazy as I am. But anyway, so we are here tonight to talk about several different things. I'm going to talk about some, um, I'm reading another book, so you know i got to bring all this information to you. Um, and this is a book on hormones, hormone health, and everything from testosterone for men, estrogen for women, um, Insulin is a hormone, but we don't talk about diabetes in this book too much. And thyroid is a hormone. We don't talk about that a whole lot either. Um, thyroid they do. But anyway, um, we're going to be talking about that and what's happening to hormones, why they are dis um, decreasing. Men, um, men of today have about 20% less testosterone than men did just 20 years ago. Why? So we're going to go into some of the hormone disruptors, things in our, in our environment that cause that, um, that lowering of our hormones. And when our hormones are out of whack, you know, our body works in synergy and everything's got to go just right. God made every, every part to click and, and fuse and go into another one. And when a few you've got some disruptors, then you're not going as smooth as you're supposed to and things don't work as well. And so that's what um, this guy, Dr. Tim Colbert, or excuse me, Don Colbert is talking about. So we're going to go into that. I'm going to start out by talking about um, back pain. We all have back pain. It's the number one office visit in um, your family doctor's office. And so number one diagnosis is back pain. And so much of our back pain is not something that we have to have surgery for. It's a acute um, process that would heal on its own if we would let, let our bodies do their work and do their job. But you know, we live in a microwave society, so we want everything right now. If you want a hamburger, you drive through McDonald's and you get it right now. If you want a um, a picture, you pick up your phone and you get it right now. But God made our bodies to be slow cookers and people are not willing to wait for um, God to heal us slowly and naturally. We want it all right now. So that's what we're going to talk about. And I'm the same way now, you know. Who wants to hurt and who wants to miss a couple days of work because your back hurts? But we're going to talk about back pain. We're going to talk about some of the natural ways to take care of it. You know, um, it used to be years ago that if you had pain, your doctor would throw an opiate at you, you know, a hydrocodone, a Norco, something like that. And, you know, we've had this opioid crisis. We haven't heard too much of it lately because it's all about COVID now. But the crisis is still going on. And so um, we went from doctors being taught in medical school give them pain at one point we were told you can't you can't give too much pain medicine when you're in pain you just have to treat the pain and that uh, unfortunately that created an entire um, group of people that are addicted to opiates and can't get off of them or if they do they have to go through a, either a withdrawal process or they have to be weaned off very slowly and most people that are addicted to something whether whether it was from the doctor or whether you went out and bought something off the street if you're addicted you're addicted and a lot of us got addicted to pain medicine 
no no fault of our own maybe but the fact of the remain the fact of the matter is we were addicted are addicted so since the opioid crisis um, we've been looking into more natural ways to treat pain and more natural ways to get our bodies through this this hard time and um, more and more people are leaning to the natural now and you know how I am I believe in natural as much as possible and I don't give out a whole lot of pain medicine if I do it's usually like ibuprofen and naproxen um, I do for some certain things uh, broken bone that's very painful and I'll give a little bit I do refill um, pain medicine some of the doctors in our office are more generous and lenient with pain medicine than others. I send all my patients, if they're gonna be on chronic pain medicine, it's one thing to get a few tramadol because you sprained your ankle. And it's another to have to have a refill of your prescription month after month after month. So if I, if I see somebody that is gonna need that pain medicine, or if I see a new patient who's already on that high amount of pain medicine, I send them to a pain clinic. You know, we have specialists for just about everything right now. Got cardiology for heart, nephrology for kidneys, urology for bladder, um, um, special doctors, orthopedic for bones, you name it, we've got a, a specialist for it. And they are, there are pain specialists, and they are trained primarily to take care of pain. And so I send my folks to the pain clinics. Some people don't like it. I mean, they have very strict rules. You know, when you have, if you're given 30 pills and you're supposed to take two a day and it's day 15, well, you better have 15, you know, 15 pills left or whatever it is they will count your pills to make sure that you're taking it appropriately that you're not abusing it they will do a drug screen i mean i i was giving tramadol to one of my patients a nice guy i've known him he's been my patient for well before obamacare because he didn't have any insurance and then we talked about obamacare and he got obamacare so what's that been eight ten eight years quite a while ago Anyway, and so I would give him tramadol periodically. The, um, the process in our office is that you will have random drug screens. So I did a drug screen on him. And guess what? He had tramadol, cocaine, and marijuana. So why did he need all that pain medicine? I don't know, but he's going to... As Ricky Ricardo would say, I've got a lot of splaining to do, Lucy, because um, I, I always give my patients one more chance. A lot of practitioners say, you violated it, you're out. But um, I, I give people the benefit of the doubt. But anyway, so we do random drug screens. I do write for prescriptions when some of the doctors are out and I'm covering for them and their patients need the pain medicine. I, I do write for those, but I do not um, write for my own patients, very rarely. And now this guy that I just told you about, he's probably not gonna get any more tramadol from me. But anyway, so back pain, it hurts, it happens. We can, you know, wake up one morning and be brushing our teeth and turn to go into the bedroom and all of a sudden you're back seizes up and it hurts it isn't always because you've hurt yourself it isn't always because you slipped and fell it isn't always because um, you know you got pushed and shoved or you fell down the stairs or whatever horrible accident could happen sometimes it just hurts overuse is a big thing you know like now it's raking we haven't done a lot of raking for a year the we rake in the fall when the leaves fall so you know you're using muscles that you haven't used for a year and then you wake up the next day and your back hurts or you've been lifting up to hang curtains or wash the windows using these muscles that you haven't used you know you might use them twice a year when you wash the windows or whatever and so we can get overuse from from that and we get overuse in our backs 
from a lot of things. You know, we don't use good ergonomics with our backs. We are supposed to um, use our legs to push up and not use our back to pick up, you know. So you, if you're picking up a box off of the floor, you bend down, you grab the box, and you push up with your legs, not your back. So um, there's a lot of um, things that we need to do to, to be better, to take care of ourselves. And you know, then shoveling snow, we might get snow this year, I don't know, but that it, anything that we do out of the ordinary or do that we, is something we don't do every day. You know, you walk every day, so the legs, your muscles in your legs are strong. Um, but our backs are different. So what is the, the biggest problem with back pain is not in your bones. Now there are back problems in bones. You have vertebrae problems, you have arthritis in your back, you have arthritis in your hips, um, arthritis in your knees. But most, most of back pain, especially when there's not been any injury or anything, it's different if you've been in a car accident, it's different if you fell down some stairs. But if you just um, woke up one day and your back was stiff and the next day you could hardly move, most likely that is muscular. And muscle hurts. And a lot of times our muscles get so tense that they, call, they cause spasms. They can, um, you can have a nerve going through those muscles and it gets so tight that it pinches those nerves and you might have some numbness or tingling or like numbness in your fingers. Or, or your toes. Um, you can have a sciatica problem and that runs down from your um, buttocks down your leg. It can go down the front, it can go down the back, it can go down the side. And those all hurt. But the majority of our back problems are muscular, not bone. People don't believe me. They want x-rays. I try to tell them they want x-rays. I x-ray them and guess what? They're fine, the x-ray is fine, but they still hurt because it's their muscles. So what are some of the best ways to treat that? Well, you gotta treat the pain. I like to tr treat with anti-inflammatories. Um, naproxen is an anti-inflammatory, ibuprofen, Aleve, those kind of things, those non-steroidal anti-inflammatory medicines that you can buy over the counter. Those are anti-inflammatories and those are good, they help reduce the inflammation, which is part of the problem for the pain. And um, sometimes you need a muscle relaxant. Now muscle relaxants are good. They relax your muscles. One lady said, I'm not going to take it because my heart's a muscle. Well, your heart is a different muscle. It is a muscle, but it's a different muscle made out of different tissue than than the muscles in your back or your arms or your legs. So you use a muscle relaxant. And that's especially good if you've got a muscle spasm or you've got a real tightening in the muscle for one reason or another. Um, sometimes we get back pain because, which really is stemming from our knee or our foot, and we have pain in the knee, and so we tend to walk differently. Our gait has changed some, and then that affects the muscles going up your back and that's how you get the back pain. So there's lots of different reasons, a lot of different varieties of um, reasons why we have back pain. But muscle is one of the big things. So acutely, acute means it just happened out of, out of the blue. Chronic means it's been going on and on and on for quite a while. But for acute back pain, there are two modalities that I use. Now, if you've been in a car accident and you, you, you've been jarred, you know, you've been hit from the back and so you go like this and bounce back, that's called coup contra coup. And um, a lot of times that can be treated best by a chiropractor because your bones get a little out of, out of joint or out of sync or out of alignment or placement because of that jarring. And so a chiropractor is a great um, way for that kind of back pain, at car accident back pain. And most all insurances pay for a chiropractor to take care of that for you. 
But if you woke up one day and your back just started hurting, you weren't in a car wreck and you don't know why in the heck it's hurting, then I like physical therapy. I can tell you, I've had several muscular problems. I had, uh, I've had tendonitis and, and I've had shoulder problems and because I slump like this instead of sitting up straight, I'm very bad. My posture is terrible. And um, usually by three at the most visits to the chiropractor, you're 100% better. And um, I don't, I mean to the physical therapist, excuse me. I don't know how, if all physical therapies places do this, but the one that I went to, they had an app that I could put on my phone and then they download all of the um, exercises that they did with me for that hour I was in physical therapy. I put it on your phone so then you can do those exercises at home. Because physical therapy can be expensive. Um, some insurance policies carry it and some don't. And I, there's no way for you to know unless, you know, you would know because you signed up for it or it was given to you and you got some kind of a booklet saying, you know, you got this coverage and this coverage and this coverage. But when I send people, sometimes they say, well, it's going to cost me 50 bucks. Well, I, I, incre I encourage them to go one or two times, learn the exercises, and then you can do them at home. Um, you know, I think working with the therapist is the best. They're the experts, but I understand money. I understand not having the copay. I understand I got to put dinner on the table for my family. I can't put, you know, $50 down for this physical therapy. I get all that. So um, I do have some exercises at my office that I give out myself for my patients. Um, so those are the two modalities. And you know, it's pretty interesting that since the um, opiate crisis, um, more and more insurances now are looking at and accepting physical therapy and or chiropractic care because they're recognizing the value of manipulation in your muscles and bones versus just treating the pain. I mean, it's good. you got to treat the pain, but you got to get to the core of the problem and fix the problem. And um, it used to be that, I mean, chiropractors were just boo-hoo. They were not accepted at all in the medical field. And, that you know, as we keep going on and we keep progressing and we keep learning about all of these um, different ways of treating pain, a big, a big one was when the VA said, we, we're going to pay for chiropractic care, we're going to pay for physical therapy care because we don't want any more of our soldiers and our military just going on opiates and that's it. We, you know, they have a lot of addiction and that kind of thing. All right, it's time for our first break. And when we come back, we'll keep talking about back pain. So don't go away. I'll be back after these messages. At Downey's Hearing Care Associates, we are dedicated to taking care of every client by providing personal, high-quality hearing care services. My staff and I know hearing loss affects each person and their loved ones differently, so we give you the time and the care you need to ensure the hearing technology chosen fits your lifestyle. At Downey's Hearing Care, we also make custom ear molds and specialize in emergency hearing aid repairs. Down East Hearing Care Associates has two locations, one in Nightdale and one in Rocky Mount. We have hearing lives to save. Hi, I'm Richard Goss, pharmacist and owner of Almond's Drug Store here in Rocky Mount. I'm here today with my wife and two daughters. For over 75 years, Almond's Drug Store has been the pharmacy of choice for residents of Edgecombe and Nash County. Our family is proud to call Rocky Mount home, and we are excited about the new services and products we are adding daily at both of our Almond's Drug Store's locations and also at our medical supply store. Come in and see us at Almond's Medical Supply. We're an extension of Almond's Drug Store's, your local hometown pharmacy. We're here to service all your needs, from wheelchairs to walkers to orthopedic supports, to compression hose, to hard-to-find wound care supplies and you'll always get that hometown customer service. We want our patients to pay the best prices, get the best service available, and have a better pharmacy experience than they would get anywhere else. 
Our staff is committed to going above and beyond to meet our patients' needs. Whether it is working with your provider to get you the best medication at the best price, contacting your provider to get you refills or a pre-authorization, or taking the time to review each of your medications with you personally, or perhaps even helping you find an old-time remedy or other hard-to-find items, your Almonds Drugstore staff will work hard to meet your pharmacy needs. At Almonds, we will deliver your prescriptions for free. Both of our stores have drive through windows, we guarantee short wait times, and our pharmacists will come out to greet you personally and answer any questions you have. If you want to be met with a smiling face, or even want someone to greet you by name when you walk through the doors, we are the pharmacy for you. Call Almond's Drugs today. 443-3138 or 446-0014. Welcome back. This is Here's To Your Good Health. I'm Linda Prezioso. And we've been talking about back pain. So we've determined that opiates and strong pain medicine is not really the best treatment. Now you might need it initially because the pain is so severe. But we've got to get to the core of the problem and fix that problem, whether it's a muscle spasm, whether it's um, a misalignment of your vertebrae, whatever that is, it, you know, maybe it's um, arthritis in your hip joint and you're going to have to have an injection in it for some um, um, pain relief. But strong opiate, strong pain medicine, addictive pain medicine is not the answer to the problem. So we've talked a little bit about chiropractic care. We talked a little bit about physical therapy. There is a place for both of them in the medical field. Um, chiropractors have branched out and they do like um, acupuncture, which I, I'm totally in agreement with. I, I've had acupuncture. I've actually had it on this show before when Dr. Alan Bolin came and uh, he's from Hammer Chiropractic and when he came he demonstrated on on me for the show of what um, acupuncture is. And acupuncture is um, you, you put needles in a pathway you know we have different pain pathways throughout our entire body our arms our legs bellies whatever and um, they are, have learned how to um, put little needles in that pathway and then you stimulate those needles and that stimulates healing to that pathway and that's how it works. And I probably shared this story with you but I had tennis elbow years ago when I worked in the emergency room and I had had several times of um, getting the, the traditional way of dealing with things which is it's a steroid shot you have some steroid and some lidocaine in a in a um, syringe and you inject it into your joint and the lidocaine helps to soothe soothe it when it first gets in and then the um, steroid which is an anti-inflammatory helps to um, to calm down that um, that irritated joint or that irritated ligament or whatever it is. And so I had that about three times and it would work for maybe a week and then it didn't work anymore. Sometimes they're very, those shots are very effective and they can work up to three or four months. Sometimes you get one once a year. But for me, it didn't work. And so at that same time, I of course got my, my injection into my um, elbow from a PA in the ER. And then um, one of the doctors that worked there was from Malaysia. And he, he had moved here from Toronto. I don't know the story how I got from Malaysia to Toronto. Maybe he was born in Toronto. I don't know, but he was Malaysian. And he had an acupuncture clinic in Toronto prior to him moving down here to work in this emergency room. And so he put he did acupuncture on me so I, he was night shift and he was leaving and I was coming and so he would put those needles in me and then I'd go about and stack stop my rooms or whatever I was doing before patients got there and he was finishing up his paperwork and 
then I'd have those in for about 20, 25 minutes and he'd take them out. And um, I had two or three of those. And you know, I, it was 30 years before I had um, any tendonitis. That's what tennis elbow is, is tendonitis, I, before I had that again. So I've had um, various acupuncture in with knee pain and with um, um, tendonitis of one form or another and it's always been b very beneficial for me. Then another treatment similar to acupuncture is reflexology and um, it's another modality. Now, I don't want anybody to go off on a tangent and say, you're talking about all this Middle Eastern stuff and it's not Christian and it's not of God. And, you know, some people believe that it's like yoga, they say, is, you know, worshiping a Hindu God. I don't look at it like that. So I'm going to keep on talking about these things but because I get reflexology too. And reflexology works on the same principle as... Um, acupuncture as far as you have these nerve pathways and um, so if you've got a headache there's certain places on your foot that she the practitioner can push on and stimulate a little bit and that helps with the headache or the knee pain or the gallbladder pain or whatever your particular ailment is then so I get reflexology I get it as much for relaxation and good health, like a massage, as I do for uh, treating particular problems. But I, I really like reflexology a lot. And it's given the same way that a massage is. And actually, massage is really good, too, especially if you've got back pain. I get knots in these trapezius muscles. It's where I keep all my stress. And so... I, I probably don't get enough massages, but I've got a friend that has done massage on me for, well, I was at the hospital when she started, and I've been at Family Medical for nine years, so that's, it's, it's probably been 12 years or so. But anyway, um, and she, you know, she massages, and massages, you know, gently massaging into the muscles, and so when I have these, um, these muscle spasms in my neck, she'll work and get those out for me. Um, but so those are, you know, some of the modalities that you can also treat your back pain with. Um, massage therapy, some of these things, you, you can get into a chiropractor and you can pretty much get into um, uh, physical therapy within a day or two. But like massage therapy, a lot of times they're booked up. My reflexologist stays booked up. I've got to have, you know, I, I book out six weeks in advance. Kind of like getting your hair done, you know, if, if you have somebody you like and she cuts your hair great, then you want to stick with her. And so when she cuts it this Wednesday, then you make it for five, six weeks down the road, however often you get your hair cut. It's the same thing with the reflexology and um, the massage therapist. But those are all ways that you can treat yourself. That's all natural, it's all relaxing, and it's all helpful. Depending upon what the modality of the pain is from, you know, the origin of the pain, that's how you kind of determine what you need. And that's when your provider will say, well, I think physical therapy would be better for you, or, or I think that um, going to... Um, the chiropractor would be the best thing. Most all of that is self-referral. We have self-referral sheets in our office. And, um, you know, we, there's every, every physical therapy office is good um, in, in town. You know, sometimes you've already been to physical therapy and you want to go back to that place. And I send you there. Sometimes you've never been. And um, we talk about the various... Um, physical therapies some one physical therapy place here has a pool and they can do pool therapy which is really good if you've got joint pain because that that relieves the pressure off the joint so um you don't have to you know it's just it's 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 more soothing it's more relaxing for you um so sometimes if it's a severe knee pain or 
hip pain, I'll send them to where the pool is. It just depends upon, every, every case is different. And you have to, you know, you have to make a judgment on which place you think is the best. So, and sometimes then we have chronic back pain. I had chronic back pain for years. Um, I had um, slipped a disc when I worked in the ER. You know, we had to push our own stretchers. We had to push our own patients where they had to go. Um, sometimes they had to go to the cardiac unit or, or they had to go to the heart center or they had, we had to push them to MRI and all that was in the day hospital. So you had to go from one end of the hospital all the way to day hospital, which is a little bit of a walk. And then there was an incline going up from the hospital up to the day hospital. And, you know, some of those patients are heavy and they're, you know, and they're like dead weight. And so I, um, and I did not use good ergonomics. I can be honest with you. It was not the hospital's fault. It was my fault for not, um, taking better care of my back. But anyway, I um, slipped a disc and so I had chronic back pain for about 20 years. And um, I, I, would, I always had a muscle relaxant at my house. I always had a high dose ibuprofen at my house because I would have the back pain periodically and I knew how to treat myself. And that worked well for many, many years until I herniated, the, the, the disc herniated. And then um, that, that led to having surgery and you all know that that was about a year ago but i'm doing great since then um i haven't had to use any muscle relaxants and i haven't really had to use any high dose ibuprofen or, or naproxen um once in a blue moon i might take one but not not at all like i did before so sometimes you have chronic back pain and those who have had it you know like i said you can just one day I, I turned, I was brushing my teeth, getting ready to go to work, and I turned away from the sink to, towards my bedroom, and my back went out. And I tried to go to work. I, you know, I tried, but I couldn't. I thought if I could just take my computer and put it on the, the edge of the um, exam room, on the edge of the exam table, that I could type and do that but I had to be bend over and I couldn't do it so I tried one or two patients and I had to go home but um, so that that's what chronic is acute is when you heard it right then and there chronic is when it goes on and on so some of the different an, another um, good way to treat um, um, back pain is yoga I'm telling you that is one of the best best things you can do for um, for treating back pain. So yoga, I, I'm, for those who don't know, is it's a tool that can be used to help you stay healthy and um, it's an osteopathic approach to wellness that focuses on your body's natural tendency towards health and self-healing. I've told you that already. Um, and there are lots of different um, ways to do yoga. It was established, I believe, in India. I think it's Hindu. Um, but the purpose of yoga is to build strength, awareness, and harmony in both the mind and body. Um, and there are more than a hundred different types of yoga, of schools of yoga. Most sessions typically include breathing exercises, meditation, and assuming postures that stretch and flex various muscle groups. Um, and this, this little um, article was written by an osteopathic physician and, and he was, he's also a certified yoga instructor. And um, he says, as an osteopathic physician, I focus a lot of my efforts on preventative medicine and practices and in the body's ability to heal itself. And I to we talked about that earlier, that your body can heal itself, but it takes a while. And we want it done now, instead of letting God use his slow cooker method. Um, yoga is a great tool for staying healthy because it's based on similar um, principles. Um, and so a doctor of osteopathic medicine, or they're called DOs, you you'll see 
um, George Brown, MD, or you might see George Brown, DO, and that's a doctor of osteopathic medicine. And that focuses on prevention by examining your lifestyle environment that can impact your health rather than just treating your symptoms. So there's many kinds of yoga and anybody should just start with a beginner because it might look easy, but I'm here to tell you it is not easy and it really um, takes a lot out of you to do some of these poses. Um, but it's possible for anyone to start, whether you're a couch potato or a professional athlete. Size, fitness levels do not matter because there are modifications for every yoga pose and beginner classes in every style. The idea is to explore your limits, not strive for some pretzel-like perfection. It is a great way to get in tune with your body and your inner self. So the physical benefits of yoga is it, it's a relaxation technique that's incorporated in the yoga. Uh, it can lessen your chronic pain such as lower back pain, arthritis, headaches, and carpal tunnel syndrome. I didn't know it would help with carpal tunnel. I'll have to ask my daughter. She's a yoga instructor. Yoga can also lower blood pressure and reduce insomnia. Other um, benefits of yoga include increased flexibility, increased muscle, muscle strength and tone, improved respiration, energy and vitality, maintaining a balanced metabolism, weight reduction. I had a friend that lost 20 pounds. She did yoga, yoga for weight loss. Cardio and circulatory health, improved athletic performance, and protection from injury. So um, the mental benefits are one of the best benefits of yoga because it helps you to manage your stress, which is known to have devastating effects on your body and mind. Stress can reveal itself in many ways, including back or neck pain, sleeping problems, headaches, drug abuse, and an inability to concentrate. Yoga can be very effective in developing coping skills and reaching a more positive outlook on life. And you know, if you cannot afford to go to a class, now Nash Community College, um, they have as one of their continuing ed programs, this is what my daughter teaches, I think it's like 60 bucks for three months. Maybe it's not quite that much, maybe it's a little more, but it's not real expensive. And then you go and it's a, and she teaches it um, at the community college level and she has, um, students that take that for um, their physical um, education class if they're college transfer patients, I mean students. And then, you know, the rest of it is just for like me, you, we can go anytime. And I've taken her class several times, but it's hard for me to commit to a certain day every day of the week because I, I have a lot of things. I got a lot on my plate. I do a lot of things and um, I just can't commit to the Tuesday nights that, I, I don't know if it's still on Tuesday nights, but it was when I um, went before. But I have a women's meeting every other Tuesday night. I'm here every Wednesday night. So, you know, I just, I got a lot of stuff going on. But you can, um, if, you, if you have YouTube, you can YouTube it. Um, you can, you know, f look on your phone. You can look on your computer and you can find all sorts of, of yoga poses to do and yoga um, things that you can do. So, you know, you just look for a beginner yoga on YouTube and you're going to find something that you can do that will um, help you to strengthen your body. It's really good for us older folks because as we age, you know, we get a little bit more fluffy than we want to and um, it's very good for maintaining our strength and our posture. I've got a good friend who, um, she's got a lot of arthritis and she says, and I've heard this from more than just her, but they say that um, yoga saved their life as far as all the arthritic pain. So it's time for our next break and when we come back we'll talk about some of the best yoga poses and I'll kind of explain them to you. Um, 
I won't be doing one. I wish I should have thought about this and had my daughter come. She could have shown some poses. But anyway, so I'll be back in just a few minutes and we'll talk about more of uh, back pain, how to fix it, how to take care of it, and here's to your good health. Don't go away. At Downey's Hearing Care Associates, we are dedicated to taking care of every client by providing personal, high-quality hearing care services. My staff and I know hearing loss affects each person and their loved ones differently, so we give you the time and the care you need to ensure the hearing technology chosen fits your lifestyle. At Downey's Hearing Care, we also make custom ear molds and specialize in emergency hearing aid repairs. Down East Hearing Care Associates has two locations, one in Nightdale and one in Rocky Mount. We have hearing lives to save. When faced with special care needs for elderly or disabled loved ones, families want compassionate, comforting care. That's Tender Touch Home Care Services' goal, providing the level of care we would expect for our own. With over 10 years of home care excellence, Tender Touch provides an array of services that keeps your loved one at home. From personal care, light housekeeping, errands, and meal preparation to our private duty care program, which combines all of our home care offerings in one package. Tender Touch Home Care Services, where your needs are our concern. You rip and tear your old statements and bills, but thieves use this information to steal your identity. Don't be a victim. Get the ID Police, the new ink roller that encrypts all your old documents. So before you throw it out, just roll it on and your information is gone, both on the front and through the back. Even if the paper is held up to the light, even your medical information is safe with the ID Police. So block it out before you throw it out. Order now and get your ID Police for as low as $9.99 and get free shipping too. This offer is not available on Amazon, so call or click now to get your ID Police for as low as $9.99 with free shipping. Order now. Call 1-800-903-8865. That's 1-800-903-8865. Or visit at idpolice.com. So call 1-800-903-8865 now. Hi, I'm Richard Goss, pharmacist and owner of Almond's Drug Store here in Rocky Mount. I'm here today with my wife and two daughters. For over 75 years, Almond's Drug Store has been the pharmacy of choice for residents of Edgecombe and Nash County. Our family is proud to call Rocky Mount home, and we are excited about the new services and products we are adding daily at both of our Almond's Drug Store's locations and also at our medical supply store. Come in and see us at Almond's Medical Supply. We're an extension of Almond's Drug Store's, your local hometown pharmacy. We're here to service all your needs, from wheelchairs to walkers to orthopedic supports, to compression hose, to hard to find wound care supplies and you'll always get that hometown customer service. We want our patients to pay the best prices, get the best service available, and have a better pharmacy experience than they will get anywhere else. Our staff is committed to going above and beyond to meet our patients' needs. Whether it is working with your provider to get you the best medication at the best price, contacting your provider to get you refills or a pre-authorization, or taking the time to review each of your medications with you personally, or perhaps even helping you find an old-time remedy or other hard-to-find items, your Almond's Drug Store staff will work hard to meet your pharmacy needs. At Almond's, we will deliver your prescriptions for free. Both of our stores have drive through windows, we guarantee short wait times, and our pharmacists will come out to greet you personally and answer any questions you have. If you want to be met with a smiling face, or even want someone to greet you by name when you walk through the doors, we are the pharmacy for you. Call Almond's Drugs today. 443-3138 or 446-0014. Hey, welcome back. This is Here's to Your Good Health. I was going to talk about hormone disruptors out of this book, but I, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to start because I don't think I'll get too far. So we're going to go back into yoga. Um, I printed off some of the 10 best yoga poses for back pain. So if you guys have back pain and you feel like you want to do some of these stretches, you can, like I said, YouTube this. I, I, when I Googled today, I saw um, 
they had little videos on Google about how to do particular um, poses and showed you how to do it. Um, when I, I was um, at a conference and we were there for several, about a week, and um, there it was men and women, and there were there were yoga classes given and all these guys were complaining about their back pain and boo-hoo me and oh it was terrible and I've had you know how they were comparing war stories so to speak and so we had a group yoga session and three out of the four complainers said my back is so much better it hasn't felt this better forever and so and that was just with one yoga session so I'm telling you it is it's the best thing since sliced bread. So, um, so a, a little bit more about the benefits of yoga. Um, yoga is a mind-body therapy that's also recommended not only to treat back pain, but the stress that accompanies it. The appropriate poses can relax and strengthen your body. Practicing yoga, even for a few minutes each day, can help you gain more awareness of your body. This will help you notice when you're holding tension and where you have imbalances. This, can, this awareness can bring yourself into balance and alignment. And so um, it helps maintain the awareness of your body. You focus on noting and releasing the tension in your body. And um, you just, you know, you just keep on, keep on doing it. Now let's see, where am I? Have I I got my stuff all mixed up here. Um, so the first exercise is, where is number one? I'm starting at number two. Um, well, all right, we'll start at number two. It's called a downward facing dog. And um, this can be... Um, beneficial it's a traditional forward blend bend that can be restful and rejuvenating practicing this pose helps relieve back pain and sciatica it works um, the muscles worked are the hamstrings the deltoids the gluteus maximus at your hiney triceps and quadriceps you get on all fours I'm not going to tell you how to do it I'm just going to go over some of the then there's a sphinx pose and this is a gentle back bend that strengthens your spine and buttocks. It, strengths, it um, stretches your chest, shoulders, and abdomen, and it helps release stress. Um, this back bend stretches your abdomen, chest, and shoulders. Practicing this pose strengthens your spine and may soothe the sciatica. It helps to relieve stress and fatigue that can accompany back pain. And there, your muscles are your hamstrings, glute, gluteus maximus, deltoids, triceps, and your serratus anterior. And don't ask me where that is. I have to look it up. And then there's the locust pose. And this is a back bend and inversion that can be stimulating and re restorative. Your, um, it stretches the spine, and it may relieve back aches and headaches rectus and transverse abdominus muscles, gluteus muscles, erector spinae, and your hamstrings are worked with that. And um, I'm just not going to, there's the two knee spinal twist. So you can look these up and you can, um, in the child's pose, that's one of the easier ones. Well, not, nothing's easy in yoga. It really is not. But, um, so one small study from 2017 assessed the effects of yoga practice or physical therapy over the course of one year. The, particip the participants had chronic back pain and showed similar improvement in pain and acti activity limitation. Both groups were less likely to use pain medicines after three months. Separate research from 2007 found that people who practice yoga showed small to moderate decreases in pain intensity in the short term. Practice was also found to slightly increase participants' short and long-term function. Um, 
and this is a you know a good sign of research but of course we always need more there's never enough research just when you think you got there then you got to research some more um, although research does support yoga practices as the best way to treat back pain it could you know it's not going to be appropriate for everyone everybody is different and everybody needs treatment tweaked a little bit just for that body and be sure you talk to your doctor because there's a lot of stretching and um, you know you want your doctor to give you the the a-ok -okay, that it's okay and um, this says you can start a home practice with, with as little as 10 minutes per day you can use books articles and online classes to guide your practice once you learn the basics you can intuitively create your own sessions if you prefer a more hands-on learning you may wish to take classes at a studio um, I told you about Nash Community College they have classes I believe the Y has classes I'm not a hundred percent but when I talked to one of my patients today about yoga she said I think they give that at the Y um, I don't know of any gyms that do it they may I just don't know of any and then we have a fabulous yoga studio right here in Rocky Mount it's downtown it's the Bel Air Center it's the Artisan Center um, and it's got a yoga studio and um, Jessica Hicks is a fabulous girl she's very sweet very knowledgeable of yoga practices yoga every day she's um, very slim very strong I have no idea what their classes are but she has you know different classes throughout the week different times different um, you know like beginner and medium and advanced classes and so you could give her a call it's called the yoga tree studio it's downtown on church street um, and so I think that's about it for um, the yoga and I don't really want to get into the um, the hormones I was talking about so we got a couple of minutes left so I will just kind of yap oh I know I was going to tell you this weekend um, there is a new um, Christmas boutique that's starting here in Rocky Mount this is the first one um, the girl that's starting it said I don't want people to have to go to a great Christmas show at um, in Greenville or in Raleigh we're going to start one here in Rocky Mount so at the Moose Lodge I think she's got about 40 vendors actually I, I will be there with my partner Michelle and we'll be talking about essential oils and selling our essential oil products it's at the Moose Lodge on Country Club Drive inside it's um, nine uh, excuse me five to nine Friday evening this coming Friday the 19th I think it is today's the 17th yeah the 19th and then it'll be from nine to five on Saturday the 18th so I would love for all of you who watch this to come out there even if you don't want to buy anything just stop by and say hi Linda I watch you on TV I would love to see some faces of the people who tell me they watch and um, it would just be a great time to meet some of you so that would be Santa Claus is going to be there so if you've got you know kids and grandkids and they want to see Santa Claus Santa Claus will be there Friday evening and Saturday I'm not exactly sure of the times but um, he'll be there I think I have it on my phone actually when Santa Claus will be there if you wanted to bring your grandkids or your children um, I don't like to use my phone on TV but um, let's see Friday from 6 to 8 and Saturday from 11 to 1 that's when Santa Claus will be there and um, you know everybody loves Santa Claus and everybody wants to be with Santa Claus so all right that's it for tonight thanks so much for watching and i will see you next week with more of here's your good health have a great evening and look up yoga and think about doing that for relaxation and for strengthening your body good night